Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I know y'all looking like, dang girl, you already got on your nightgown. Let me tell you something. This is not my nightgown. This is my mama uniform. And I love these things. I got like a dozen of these hoes. Y'all yeah, call everything a hoe. But I got like a dozen of these. They're comfortable, they're big, and this one got pockets. Now Walmart make them with pockets, girl. So y'all, March is here. It is busy. It is crazy, but I'm staying focused. I'm staying on target. Um, in this chit chat, I'm gonna be eating. I ordered a small, I didn't even know, I did not know that Pizza Hut has small pizza. Look at those nails, girl. You know, you know when you first get your nails done. <laughs> so I received, received, I got a, look at that, oh, I look good. I put cheese on it, Parmesan cheese. I have, half of it is pepperoni. Are those olives? Okay, you know what? I was having JB to order my stuff and he he put olives on it. It's okay. Um, I got green peppers, pepperoni, mushrooms, olives, tomatoes. Yeah. So we having that with I know it's already Wednesday, but baby, when I tell you that no, it's Tuesday. I've been it's been crazy. It's been absolutely crazy. But my husband's coming home, y'all, in a couple more days. So let's jump right into it while we can, okay? Y'all know how we do this. This is a chit chat. This chit chat, I'm not doing my hair. And y'all, I'm a proper eater, so I'm gonna be covering up my nose, my face while I'm eating. <laughs> so y'all know how we do this. We talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. Girl, hold on. So the specs have changed, y'all. I have multiple glasses, multiple specs, and I change them throughout the um, the year. So during the spring, early summer, I go to my pink. Then I have a pair of black specs. I have a pair of black and pink. And then I have a all pink with black specs. Girl, that's the same thing with opposite. I have like six pair of glasses. Um, yeah. So I do not like olives. Oh my god. <clears throat> mm -mm. Yeah, let me pick this stuff up. And they put a lot of them. Don't you hate that? The one thing you hate, hate, they put the most on there. So y'all, everything's going good. I'm staying on top, top of my task, my goals, I'm getting there. Now, I haven't been working out, but <clears throat> I've been maintaining a certain body weight. I don't know. But what I've been doing is really watching my calories, okay? Uh, now, my husband will be back in town for spring break. Our spring break starts next week. And we're going to go to the Anatole. That's our spot, y'all. And Dallas, now the Anatole has renovated a tower, a specific tower they redid. He said they spent like $30 million. I'm like, where did they get that type of money from? But, <laughs> so I'm so excited to go there. Um, the weather here in Texas is so crazy. Like, lately it's been a little warm. And then it's going to get a cold front. So while we're at the Anatole, it's going to drop down to the 60s. And we wanted to go to the pool. They have this cute little place called jaded waters it has like a huge outdoor pool to almost like a little mini wet and wow if that doesn't work it's okay because they have an indoor pool and i got some cute spring break clothes <clears throat> that i purchased from shein it all just cost me like 60 70 dollars um so yeah, there's gonna be an eclipse coming, y'all. April, hold on, April 8th, there's a huge eclipse, a full eclipse that they went ahead and they're shutting down schools here in Kaufman County. So his teacher already said, she's like, yeah, they had to make it like a teacher day to count it towards a, a closing. Um, like a full eclipse that only happens like every 400 years. It's so funny when I have to go get my nails done. Y'all see that? Shout out to Tran, child. Tran spent 
I'll get back to the Eclipse. But I just got these done last week. Trans spent a good one and a half hours reshaping my nails. Because he was like, uh-uh. He said, I see what they did. I'm going to fix it for you. Excuse me, y'all. It was just a feeling. And he he took his time. And I love that. I love that, right? But while I was there, <laughs> I was talking to the owner. She's cool. She's like real cool, right? And she's like, yes, yeah, every 400 years, they need to enjoy it. Back to the eclipse. So, yeah, child, um, April 8th, I told JV we're having a Dolores Clay one party. He's like, who's that? I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm going to do, like, a Dolores Claiborne inspired party. I'm going to I'm gonna buy the movie on YouTube. I know they have it for sale on YouTube, and we're going to watch it. Well, I'll watch it. He ain't going to be doing it, child. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have it in. I got some Eclipse glasses, but my husband said that stuff don't work. Not for a full Eclipse like this. You have to have something really, really nice. Household stuff, y'all. Um, I'm a very do-it-yourself type of person, so I can patch up holes in a wall. JB, I don't know what he was doing. He knocked a little bitty hole about about this size in the wall. Patch it up. There's like a crack in his ceiling. I can patch it up. I'll patch it up. There are certain things that I know I will be able to do, but I just don't have the time for. It. Like putting um what is it called? Putting hardware on our cabinets. I just don't have the time to do that. I would they actually have tools and measurement tools you could do for that. So instead, I'm gonna hire someone to do that for us this month. Um, there's a lot going on during the month of March. I did a DNA test. Now, I'm going to put my results right here so y'all can see it. You see that, girl? So, for the longest, I never wanted to do it because being African American, I knew that, well, there's the unknowing, right? Um, but most of us are mixed. We have Caucasian blood and I didn't want to know how much it was. And so from what I've always read and just looking at documentaries or whatever, that most African Americans have between 10 to 12%. When I saw that 15, my heart dropped, seriously, because we know it wasn't consensual. I mean... So, I called my parents up and I said, hey, I did a DNA test. They got quiet, like, wait a minute, you trying to figure out who your real father is? No, <laughs> no. I said, no. And I'm going to tell y'all the results. Scandinavia. My mother was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and my dad said, well, um... He said his grandmother was great grandmother actually, very fair skinned, and she was half white. And so, um, which was my I, I met my great grandmother, and so yeah, I said yeah, I remember her. And he said you remember? I said yeah, I, re I remember one or two instances with her. We were very young, but um, she was very fair skinned, right? And so. Interestingly enough, you know, I have people in my family that are th that are very fair skinned and can pass for being mixed race, but they're black. But that's genetics, you know what I mean? So that's a lot, y'all. Fifteen point five percent Scandinavian child. When I told my sister, she's like, "Oh, so we black, we black Vikings." So she's like, "So that means I'm about eighty percent Scandinavian. I'm my eighty percent Viking." That's not what the hell. She's just kidding. But I'm like, "You, you silly." That's not what the hell that means. She looking up Viking food and shit. I'm like, you are a mess, girl. Um, I asked JB. JB is full of jokes. JB, JB's real funny. So I said, baby, what did you? What do you think, mommy? Um, DNA is gonna be before even. He said, well, you one percent Mexican. I said, whoa. <laughs> he attributes that to because I like Fabulosa. I said that is so damn racist. Carry on. He said, and you nineteen percent white, mama. You very white. I do have another cousin that did a DNA test and found out that a good part of our family comes from Mozambique, which is in East Africa. Southern part, though. More Southern Central. Um, My husband was quiet because he was he was saying, he said, oh, when you, he said, you're black. When you get it, you're going to be like less than 5%. When I was reading it off to him, he was quiet. Little did he know 
I ordered one for Jamie's ass because I'm very curious to what Jamie's is going to be. Now, my husband would never do it. Child, you kidding me? If you were to ask him, he is 100% that's That's what he's going to say. <laughs> so I got my Snickers bar. I'm going to just do half of this. Cause, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're excited for the man the man to be back home, even though he's going to be uh, lean and... and I told y'all in the last shoot chat, he came back very lean when we last saw him last month. Very, very lean because he's working out a lot. And I mean, my husband has always been pretty, pretty, you know, he's never been overweight, but he's really lean now and he has a six pack. And so I said, that's disrespectful. You know, I'm trying to, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to lose weight. Uh, I've been trying to lose weight for 20 years. We know this. You ain't got to say it. I'll, I'll let you know. I got the Felicia Leatherwood hair. I really could be detangling my hair. Honestly, I got the Felicia Leatherwood hair. Yeah, look at this. This is, a, look at those curls. Look how cute that is. But the rest of this looks like, girl, I'm going to the doctor just like this tomorrow. No, <laughs> I'm going to do something to it. Anyway, y'all, let me show y'all this take your ass to sleep concoction that when my niece was here, um, I was letting her know. I'm like, you need to go ahead and give that baby a bath so she'll go to sleep. You know what I mean? So, girl, my a part of me feels kind of sorry for this generation coming up because they have everything at their fingertips. Meaning through social media has so much knowledge, so much information. But that could also be a downfall. Um, for my generation, I'm what you consider almost like a geriatric millennial, but not really. Millennials are 81 and up. I'm 80. I was born in 80, but because I'm at the very end of the year, it's... Anyway, so anyway, um, we had to learn through experience and listening to our elders. Some of us, let me just say that, not, not all of us. But, so I'm trying to tell her what to do and it's like, they don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. So I had that baby here, honey, and I was like, I'm gonna give it give her a bath. First of all, I put all this stuff in there for her. We'll spray in the room and that baby was out. Okay? That baby was out. So this is my take your ass to sleep concoction. And actually, matter of fact, I'm missing one thing and I can't find it. I thought it was here, but it is what it is. So it's the Dr. Tills. Everything is Dr. Tills. The first thing you wanna do. You want to give that baby a bath or yourself a bath. This is a Dr. Till's Soothe and Sleep Lavender Essential Oils. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But next up, we have the Aromatherapy Wellness Oil with lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood. Now, I use this when you really need to take your butt to bed. Like, you've been getting on my nerves all day. This is what you're going to get, okay? And then probably like an hour or so before sleep, I'm going to spray the whole room down and the sheets down. Not a lot. Not a lot, honestly. I'm going to spray. And if you get on my nerves, I may spray it in your face. So, lavender and chamomile oil. And then also, I have actual pure, well, you know, essential oil, lavender oil. I don't know where it's at. And probably once, twice a month, not even once a month, twice a month, I put a little bit of drops of lavender oil on the actual pillowcases on the bed and all of that. But this right here, baby, now when I first started using it, you have to be very consistent with it. Here are the sleep melatonin gummies. Now, JB, JB's pretty good about going to sleep as long as he's next to me he can go to sleep pretty good hold on y'all he can go to sleep pretty well um and i don't have any problems now but i wish y'all would have known some of this stuff sooner because when that when i tell you we have the worst sleeper y'all like because of jb sleep habit is the number one reason why we decided not to have any more kids jb was a horrible sleeper I remember finding, I used to chart his sleeping. I found some sleep charts, like when we were moving back to Texas. He was waking up four to six times at night. He didn't sleep through the night till he was like 13 months old. But I'm good. I'm really good now. Yeah, so, y'all, let's just go ahead. What I've been watching on YouTube. So, Recitessa. I rewatched the whole thing. Now, I feel a certain type of way for this young woman because she got deemed on uh, Twitter, no, TikTok. 
is it Twitter? Girl Twitter on TikTok to where she wasn't making any money. So even though those thrifty part videos got millions, people were trying to estimate how much she was going to make. She didn't make that. Now, what she is getting is, I guess, um, she was on, I saw a little clip of her on Good Morning America. And there's certain other things she's, you know, she's, she's getting, I guess, the Hilton is going to pay for her to go to Paris and London, which is awesome. And all of this stuff is a part of her 50 part Who the F Did I Marry series, right? In addition to that, though, I guess BMW tagged a or used a audio expert from her series on a post on their account on TikTok and they are not getting her a cap a, a car a bmw because you y'all if i hear this one more time she won a five series cognac child so that's what she was wanting because that's what legion said he was gonna get her legion was the ex narcissist lion you know so anyway um they use her audio to promote a post and she actually then created another post a couple of days later it was like <laughs> what's what's i guess this is the closest i'm gonna get to my bmw so i'm happy for her for you know still living in her truth um i really do wish and hope that women use this as a cautionary tale but child in addition to that i saw another like five part series and let me see if i can even remember her name she was based out of houston and she's on, I'm going to put this sister's channel down below. She's a YouTuber who I've been watching named Burb, Burb and Bougies. B-U-R-B-N, Bougies, Burb and Bougies, girl. This, this girl, when I tell you she, she's like a straight firecracker, her five part, her husband turned out to be, he turned out to be, I believe he was popping pills right and he was having them around the house when she has a son a child so the thing that did, kind of disturbs me y'all is that both of these young men women ended up moving a guy in to their house your peace your sanctuary in less than two months i think one of them was less than a month are you crazy back to russell tessa Charlemagne. first of all I can't stand his ass. Basically made the comment that, from what I understand, this sounds like big back behavior. Referring to Russell Tessa. Look, she knows she's a big woman. She knows she's plus size. She knows it. She gets up every, every day and she sees that shit. So to make a comment like that, meaning from Charlamagne was just so low. But it's it's who he is. That's who he is. He's not, he's full of shit. Um, but yeah, so... Allegedly, also, I've seen about one or two posts about this that apparently it's the same Jerome, y'all. I don't know what his name is. I don't. I don't like to call him Legion. Clearly, this guy has some serious mental issues. Clearly, he apparently has HIV, meaning Legion. Another interesting post I saw from someone who I don't really follow him that much, Tony Gaskin actually mentioned that he believes that if Legion is this narcissistic liar, um, that a part of that is also in Russa Tessa because um, if you weren't that way, you wouldn't attract someone with that type of... Basically, his whole point was that you attract with who you are. I... I I agree with that to a certain degree. It is easy to see how this could happen. I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm, I'm going to be very quite honest. I have little to zero patience for that type of bullshit. First of all, <laughs> not today. But she was in a certain predicament and situationship. Well, she called it herself and it happened. Okay. Um, and I guess Legion out here trying to say he's going to sue her. Girl, with what? Portia is getting a divorce. Are we surprised? All right, y'all. So what I'm watching on TV, Netflix, YouTube, whatever, you know, Hulu, whatever it may be. 
So I watched a really good movie this morning. I had it in my to-do list on my, you know, app or whatever. And it is called Reptile on Netflix. It starts Felicio Lajolo and um, the girl from, y'all, sorry, Blake me on the line. The girl from Clueless, not Christina Applegate. So Reptile is one of those murder mystery movies. Um, also has Justin Timberlake. Y'all, Justin Timberlake, he needs to get some some bass in his voice. He's always going to have that like Michael Jackson soft talking voice. And that's just who he is. You know, he's over 40, right? And he still sounds like he's like 15. Um, Very good movie, Reptile on Netflix. Also on Netflix, The First Purge. Very, very interesting. Um, and it basically talks about how the purge started. And it started on New Jersey, which is an island. And you had a group of people that were basically, okay, spoiler, a group of people that were basically paid to go and start the purge. Like, you need to go kill some people. And they're killing us, people that look like us, people in the hood. Um, and the people in the hood, like the the, the gangbangers are like, this is our hood. If, if there's going to be some killing, it's going to be from us. <laughs> but um it was really good to watch it was really interesting i'm not really into those purge uh, movies because i feel like once you watch one it kind of has like the same storyline but this one was okay i didn't mind this one mia culpa on netflix which is actually latin mia culpa has kelly Rowland and that fine ass theodore girl there's no damn theodore what is his name Trevante Rhodes. So Kelly Rollins is playing a lawyer who is defending a artist like Tyler Perry. <laughs> you gotta have another artist. Then we do this from Fall of Grace. But anyway, I digress. Trevante fine ass is playing an artist who paints beautiful women and his girlfriend ends up murdered. Let's just get right into it, y'all. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. First of all, Trevante is fine, but... I know when you say but, it kind of <laughs> takes away everything you said prior. He's a very handsome man. However, he is not like the most good looking man out there. You know what I mean, y'all? So he's good looking in a small town type of way. The beard is very heavy in this movie. And I feel like he he's swollen. Like, I'm like, oh, baby, you may want to get <laughs> go get your blood work done. He looks like he's swollen. Like... Not like in a good way, like he's been putting on muscle. That, but he looks beefy. You know what I mean? So, I hope it's okay. For what I understand, child, first of all, Tremonte is not on no social media. We're going to get to the media. We're going to get to the movie here in a minute. He's not on social media, so I can't stalk him like a good person supposed to. I can't stalk you. You're not on, you're not on uh, Twitter. He's, he deleted his Instagram, apparently. He apparently has a child, Mia Culpa. Like I said, Kelly is representing a artist who has apparently killed his girlfriend. Um, and it's, it starts off, old boy is a whore. He's a hoe. He's a man hoe. Out the gates. Which, when you good looking and, and a man, you could be a hoe, apparently. So, but baby, I feel like... Tyler Perry was in a mood when he wrote this movie because I don't know if he didn't get his fix for that month, but he made it very, this is the raunchiest Tyler Perry because it was full on nudity for him. Oh, but I think Kelly was topless too. So we get to the, we get to it to where Kelly is married. She's going through some things with her husband. He lost his job because he's a, he's a child himself. She's defending old boy. And he's has he has a very high sex capacity or whatever, you know. And so he lets her know, like, I'm attracted to you. Are you attracted to me? And she's like, uh, this is not on the agenda. Like, <laughs> but she has a detective, like a PI friend, that kind of lets her know that her husband is still dipping out in these streets. And when she found that out, baby, she put that car in park and she went up to the um Trevante's room, uh, excuse me, his his flat. I'm being proper, y'all. He already had some little chica on him. When I tell you, they showed everything. She was, 
Yeah, she was giving him the business. And he is upside down because she's on top of him. And he sees Kelly coming in and he's like, oh, let me let her in. <laughs> coming in. And so they go at it. Kind of, sort of. But y'all, I'm like you, sis. One of, my, one of my subscribers said that she couldn't really see Kelly. It was hard to see Kelly. Like, I do too because in my opinion, I still view Kelly as the good girl. She's she's definitely child. So it was really hard to see her in a sex scene. And honestly, we're going to get to the paint scene. So old boy has a thing. He has you to close your eyes, think of a color, what color do you, or look, I don't know, girl. He's like, what color do you see? And he has in the painted. That's how he get in those draws. You see what I'm saying? Don't you, if, if a man ever come up, comes up behind you and say, okay, close your eyes or, or look at this. What colors do you see? Run. Girl, run. Just run. So y'all blame it on the alcohol. I'm, I'm, I'm two cups now. So there's a scene where he comes over and he like, this is this is paint and it's gold and he puts it on her and she's turned on. Let me tell you something. First off, I'm I'm hot and I'm I'm bothered, so my pores are open. Right, you pouring this toxic ass shit on me. But they proceed. They proceed. He's pouring it all on her, all these different paints, and they fall down and he gives her gives her the business. Right, what he's known to do. And so then they cut to a scene to where she's in bed. Why? Of course, the sheets are pure white. Why is it like that in movies? The sheets are always pure white, right? And I don't see no damn paint. I'm like, okay, there should be paint everywhere. Paint, paint all up under your arms, <laughs> under your titties. Like, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So the movie, y'all, on a scale of 1 to 10, the movie was a 6. It had some plot holes. The ending felt rushed. It was a Tyler Perry movie. And I think the last Tyler Perry movie that I liked, even with um, A Fall From Grace and that foolery, I, I, at least they had good hair pieces in this one, right? Um, why did I get married too with the last Tyler Perry movie that I liked? I don't really watch none of his, those plays or anything, but yeah. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, save yourself some time unless you want to see some meat. Moving on. So, a movie or series that I'm watching on Apple TV. So, first of all, I'm back to watching Servant. It's not Saravant, like I always pronounce it. But there is a, a word called Saravant. But it's Servant, which I really do like. And so, it has like four series or four seasons. And so, I'm watching that again. Silo. Really, really good. It has Common. It has that fine other, I think he's from um, West Africa. He played in the, um, where well, the monkeys be talking and shit. He played, in, <laughs> he played in that. And this is good, y'all. I binge watched the entire, there's only one season so far. I binge watched all of it in two days. Silo, it's not what you expect. The parts where I'm like, okay, I know what's going to happen, doesn't happen. I really enjoyed it. I really, really, really did. So, y'all, this chit chat is going to be long all over the place. I do apologize if it gets a little busy, but that is it, you guys. I do, 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 do. Please don't hold me on this. I have hair videos coming. I clearly have to do something. Um, I do have that skin video coming because, y'all, I've been holding on saying, okay, I need to wait till my skin is a little bit better because my skin... Is what it is. So y'all, that is it. I'm like all over the place, and I need for my child to go to bed. I'm like, look, I'm telling you, he's about to take a bath. I'm about to take his ass down. Like we gotta get this together. All right, y'all. I'm rambling. That is it. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.